Hey everybody, we're here to talk today about wireless battery packs. So we sell these wireless battery packs that go with your recliners. We get a lot of questions about them. So we figured we would go ahead and answer how those work. So first of all, when you get a wireless battery pack, it's very simple. We send these out and you only get two, a female two pin and a male two pin. A lot of times people are like, well, how am I gonna charge this? How does this work? I don't get it. We're gonna explain it real quickly. So first of all, we only send this out because you already have a power supply. So if you got a power supply with your sofa or love seat, you'll already have one of these. It's a female two pin, simply plugs into the wall, right? Uh, on this power pack, it's very simple. One says in, one says out. So once you get the battery pack, the first thing you need to do is you wanna charge it. So you're gonna plug this into your cord you already have. If you don't have this power pack, we sell them, you can buy them from us. Um, it's in addition to the power pack, we can easily send that out to you. But what you'll want to do is you want to first plug it in. You'll notice that as I plug this in, it's blinking red. It means it's charging. Uh, depending on what charge it was at when you get it, we usually tell people let it charge for a good 12 hours before you plug it in. So as soon as you get this, plug it into your existing power supply, let it charge up. Usually overnight, it's real simple. Once it's charged, this is really important. You're going to want to unplug it when it's fully charged. Don't leave it plugged in. You can't have it plugged into the wall and to your recliner at the same time it will either ruin the battery or it could cause another issue of an overload. So you don't want to leave it plugged in. So now I've got it fully charged. I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to plug it directly into my motor on my sofa left seat recliner. Again, really important to remember, like this is, looks really short, but that's kind of the idea, right? Is you're trying to hide it underneath your sofa or love seat. We don't have any cord hanging out. This will sit underneath there, totally hidden and then it'll fully power everything we do. You can um, still use this with a sofa and a love seat, so you could use your Y cable. You're gonna come out of the out portion of it, plug in your Y cable. Uh, y cable again is so you can power a sofa both sides of the recliner. Now obviously if you're using one battery pack to power both sides, you're gonna essentially get half the power out of it if you're using both sides equally. So we usually recommend getting one power pack per reclining chair, so if you have a sofa you'll want two of these. Um, a love seat as well, you're gonna have two, a recliner one's fine. But like I said, if you only use one, it's probably only gonna last about half the time. On normal usage, you're gonna get about 15 days, two weeks out of these. Um, uh, if you're using it on two, if you're just using it on one recliner, you should get about a month out of it. Again, that depends on how often you use them, but that's pretty standard. So, but you could use a Y cable to power both sides if you wanted, but very simple. If you're looking to hide the cords or you're floating a sofa or a love seat or recliner in the middle of a room, you're gonna want one of these.